Hi Scorpio and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from January 18th to the 24th, 2021. First and foremost, I want to say a big thank you, my mom, Joannina, and my family, and of course my fur babies. I want to thank you all for all the beautiful, positive messages that you have been giving my mom, the prayers, the healings uh, during the holidays. A uh, big thank you as she is recovering and doing well now. And she's, uh, I had translated her all the messages that came through and she's so super feeling happy about that and feeling super blessed. And so she tells me a big thank you and that she will continue to pray for you three times a day, including with the collective as well. So if there's any messages that you want to tell her, anything you want to tell her, just leave them in the comments below. There's a lot of new subscribers here. So welcome to the new subscribers. And for those of you that have been with me for a long time or for a while, uh, thank you for all the love and support that you have been giving me. And of course, uh, to my community as well. So uh, underneath the video, there's uh, two links that you can get crystals at the percentage off. Then you have the weekly schedule. Then if you want to follow me on TikTok, it's Patrizia1111. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Patrizia underscore 1111. If you want to follow me on Facebook, it's Patrizia Luna. And if you want to join my group, I do have a group that's going on there. There's a lot of you that are already there sharing, loving, supporting each other. I would, I, If you want to join the group, there is a link for you to join the group as well. And uh, for those of you that are looking for healers, uh, there's two healers of, uh, that are dear friends of mine. Corinne is uh, also a dear friend and a soul sister, and she does body talk. There is her website there if you want to check her out. And my dear friend, Mark, as well. And uh, a lot of you already know him. And there's an email and address and where you can reach him. If you want to write to me on uh, pen pal, it's, uh, there is a PO box number at the bottom. I was open for um, personal readings, but uh, I am booked already for the month of January. So I can't take any more. So I closed it down for now. But there will be an opening again in February. I'll let you know. But in the meantime, you could go to the CMC Collective 1111.com. The, the CMC Collective 1111.com if you want to fill out the paper and I am one person doing everything so please have patience with me so now let's get started with your reading Scorpio so what I have here in front of me is the singing bowl and how we're going to do this is that I'm going to invoke the archangels the angels my spirit guides all here together um, I'm going to invoke Archangel Metatron to come in with the sun grid of light love and protection with the Holy Spirit I will invoke our um, mother Gaia to be here to sustain in, uh, the healing and reading and to keep us grounded. I will invoke Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and do the same thing for you. I will invoke Archangel Raphael to send healing energy. I will invoke Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, I will uh, invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective. But all you need to do, Scorpio, is just relax. Take a deep breath in and close your eyes if you could. Okay, and let's get started. Archangel Uriel, to clear my space and your space and energy as well. Archangel Raphael, for a healing body, mind, and spirit. Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with love, light, peace, balance, harmony. on the side next to sandy sandy's right behind the chair so she doesn't she's here but she doesn't want to be seen so let's look at your um at your affirmation scorpio i'm so happy that you're all here and i'm so happy to be here with you okay i'm very happy to be here with you and uh, let's get started with your reading so this is for scorpio from january 18th to the 24th 2020 2021 sorry 2021 <laughs> and you have uh acceptance 
acceptance. This is your affirmation. I am learning to accept the things that, that I cannot change. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Acceptance. All right, let's look into your, uh, let's look into the Gaia Oracle. Gaia Oracle will show me where you've been, where you're at, what you are uh, going to achieve. Um, she is guiding you, loving you, supporting you along the way with the angels. And she always says that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So please do not give up on your goal, on your dream, whatever it is that you desire. Okay. This is for Scorpio from January 18 to, to the 24th, 2021. For Scorpio. All right. Okay. Um... Okay, so right now, a lot of you, there's um, uh, there's a lot of things that are resurfacing. Uh, this is what Spirit is telling me. There's a lot of things that are resurfacing at this time. Uh, some type of lost love. Uh, maybe there could be someone that passed away that was close to you. Uh, it could also be a friend, a family member, anything. It could also be a, someone that you haven't spoken to for a, a long time. So there is some type of surrendering that needs to take place for you. Uh, and uh, it's about healing and releasing at this time. And this is what the collective is really going through at, that, at this time as well. Then you got winter's end, winter's end. So it's a time of where you are regeneration, rebirth. And so there's a, you know, death and rebirth that's taking place with this lost love, this uh, surrendering that you have to do, the healing and the releasing. And of course, there's a death and rebirth taking place. And it's about regeneration. And it's about a positive outcome. So there's something that's coming out for you that's going to be very positive here. And last but not least, you got the search, the search. So this time, a lot of you are feeling in the void right now, okay? And so it talks about some of you may be feeling lost. You might be feeling confused. Maybe some of you are lonely. This is not will not be for everybody, but there is uh, this. This is what it's the right now. The collective. This is what they're feeling, and some of you Scorpios are feeling this at this moment, and you think it's your emotions, but it, it actually. It's a, it's the collective's emotions at this time. So you might be feeling this way. So you, there's going to be a lot of releasing taking place here. You're going through a huge, huge transformation. Just know that. But there is a, a positive outcome from all of this. Okay. So now let's get started with your reading. This reading is for uh, Scorpio Sun. Anywhere that you have Scorpio in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime that you see this will be the right time. Um, if a reading resonates, claim it without a doubt. If it doesn't resonate, then look at your rising, your moon. Venus is about love and finances. Mercury and your north node. Your north node is, uh, for those of you that, uh, you know, you said, why do I need to listen to my north node? Well, because the north node is about clearing anything karmic in your life in this lifetime and seeing where you need to go on your soul path if you are interested in that. So now I'm going to show you where you are, what is crossing you, what spirit wants you to know. Uh, your recent past, what is crowning you, uh, your immediate future, what is being hidden from you, and the possible outcome. After that, I will clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify. And after that, I will give you two crystal cards, one sacred geometry card, one star seed oracle card, one archangel Michael card. And at the end of that, I will throw in a white light oracle card, and I'll read you a small passage of it and i hope that you stay with me till the end and if you do i want to thank you in advance so now the cards are ready let's get them in three and let's get started with your reading this is for scorpio from january 18 to the 24 2021 okay all righty Cards want to just talk.
Okay, I'm going to take out my spray. This is my sacred spray. Put some on my cards, my desk, some for you and some for me. And I'll just stick a sip of my drink. Okay, let's get started. Overall energy, the Ace of Swords. This is about seeing things very clearly, removing the fog, people or situations here. This is divine coming in to give you clarity on things that you needed to know. Creative ideas, a lot of communication taking place. Where you're at is the Tower card. So this is Pluto energy coming in. Why is it coming in? It's bringing you the Ten of Cups energy. There could be a, a this could be about a relationship or that you're in already or a new relationship that's coming in. What if like you're telling me, okay, well I don't have a relationship. I'm not talking to anybody and yada yada yada. Well, this talks about where. There's a happiness, okay, in a family situation, in an environment, uh, maybe in your community uh, with a soul family. Uh, but this, it could be a soulmate, it could be anything. A soulmate could be a, a pet as much as it could be a child. It could be a friend, a business partner, whatever it is here. There's something that that, a, that Pluto with the tower is coming in to bring you, okay? Uh, what Spirit wants you to focus on is this Knight of Swords energy. So there's some type of unexpected message coming in. In the recent past, you were trying to bring something into balance here uh, or multitasking a lot, Scorpio. You were trying to bring something into balance in your life and uh, it's about uh, being grounded in the situation and also feel some maybe some of you were being pulled in two different directions. What is crowning you is the King of Wands energy. It could be a Sagittarius, Aries or um, Leo around you. If it's not that sign, it just means that you're going to go after what you want. This is the energy of the King of Wands. Wants something goes after it. In the immediate future, you have the Queen of Swords energy. Okay, the Queen of Swords energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, it doesn't have to be. Is an energy where there, it's a, you know, whatever situation that comes around you, you will, uh, if, if, if it doesn't feel right, you are going to cut the person or you're going to stand your ground. But also the Queen of Swords talks all, also about where the Queen of Swords is a lot in our mind and not in our heart when making decisions. Okay, uh, in the... So what's supporting you is a three of wands reversed. You're not waiting anymore. There's no more weight here in the situation. Okay. What is being uh, hidden from you is the Empress energy, the Midas touch. This is death and rebirth, death and rebirth that you won't recognize yourself anymore. It's about planting the seeds that are going to come to harvest. There's new opportunities that are taking place. You're manifesting this as the Empress. She lays back. And she lets things happen towards her. She lets things come towards her. This is what the Empress energy is. The hopes and fears. There is a year, some type of celebration that will be taking place. In the outcome, you've got the Four of Wands energy, which talks about some type of proposal or a happy event that's going to be taking place in the home. In the home. Right? So now <clears throat> we're going <clears> to <throat> clarify the cards for you and see what's going on here. One more time. Alrighty. Let's look at the tower card together. Why is this tower card here? You got the hangman reversed, <clears throat> the empress reversed, and the judgment. Whew, my God. This is a there's revelations taking place here for you. A lot of revelations, a lot of ha ha moments. There's some type of judgment that's coming in for all the hard work you've been put yourself, well, that you've been putting, uh, getting through, but also what you've been going through this whole year, right? Or the year in 2020, right? So, um, yeah, so the Pluto's coming in to, to help you, okay? Because something is stagnant in your life or there's a change that needs to be taken because it is, it is an unexpected change. With the hangman reversed, it means that you surrender to a situation here. And uh, it's a, a, it, some of you are reawakening, okay? You're reawakening to the truth. A lot of you here are, uh, maybe I'm talking to you, vice versa, or a cross watcher, or someone else is doing this, okay? It's about surrendering and seeing the whole situation for what it is. And uh, with the empress reversed here, it just shows me that this tower moment, because a lot of you at the... Uh, 
we're doing so much work in the past. This is what the divine is telling me right now. I don't know who this message is for, but some of you have been doing so much work in the past that you weren't getting the Empress energy of the Midas Touch. Something is coming in to change that for you, okay? Because there is a reawakening and a judgment taking place, and that's very, very good to see that, okay? Now, let's look at the Ten of Cups energy. I didn't even call the cards, and the cards are falling. Let's see the Ten of Cups. Okay, what do you have here? You got the moon reversed. Oh, I like it when the moon is reversed. You have the Page of Wands and the King of Swords. You got the King and Queen of Swords energy here. What I do see here very strongly is a lot of you uh, with the Neptune energy, you released the fears. You worked on yourself. You released the fears at this time. You uh, probably weren't seeing something. You couldn't see something. Something was right in front of you. You released this. You worked on it. At this time, you're probably having a lot of unusual dreams. And what's coming for you is because there is divine timing here. There's something that's coming to you in divine timing. You're seeing the signs. You're feeling the signs coming in. And there's something passionate that's starting within you, within you and around you. Okay? And uh, with the King of Swords, there's a lot going to be a lot of solutions around this. Okay? The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, two different completely energy energetic people or situations here this talks about solutions that are coming towards you like the heart and mind being together in one okay it talks about communication seeing clarity seeing clear a lot of wisdom here now let's look at this knight of swords energy and what spirit wants you to focus on why is this knight of swords here you got the four of wands no sorry the four of swords the seven of swords a lot of uh, swords energy here, air. And what else here? What is this about? Okay. The Magician and the Queen of Pentacles. So, uh, reversed. So, uh, there was some type of break in the past here where you took a break, where you had to heal, uh, maybe uh, take your time, release people or situations here out of your life, okay? There is going to be a quick message that's coming in, but you don't know about this quick message. There is... Uh, uh, with the seven of swords there's uh, information being without or it's you that's withholding information scorpio or someone else is withholding information it doesn't have to be negative okay because what i do believe here is that some some of you have manifested this okay you have all the uh, all the tools that's why you took time out a lot of you been trying to manifest um abundance coming in your life in any shape way or form uh, so there is going to be an unexpected message coming in. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, this has to do with uh, maybe sometime, for some of you, this has to do with your finance, your finances maybe. You're trying to bring something into your finances or you're trying to bring something into balance. Maybe it's, uh, you know, uh, being stable or, or a situation here. But there, you manifested this. You you put it out into the universe. It's coming towards you. Okay, so... Uh, now I uh, I don't know it, let, let me just take another card for the seven of um, the seven of swords energy just to make sure why is the seven of swords there yeah it's about acceptance. It's about an offer. I think you're going to accept this offer for some of you. There's an offer that you're going to be ex uh, 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 accepting. Okay, with the four of cups reversed. Yeah, Pluto is coming in to change something. You manifested something, it's coming in for you. And this is the change that you've been wa waiting for. This is what Spirit is telling me. Now, let's look at the Two of Pentacles in the recent past. Till now. You got the Three of Swords. In the past, there could have been uh, interference, okay, with you uh, as well. There could have been interference here, okay? Six of Wands. Hmm. So a lot of you were uh, in the past, what this shows me here is that you were trying to heal some a broken heart. You were bro heartbroken about a situation, okay? But that's why you took time out in the situation here. And it's showing me that uh, you were trying to bring something into balance with the Two of Pentacles. And uh, this is um, a wish fulfillment for a lot of you here. And what I do see is that there is going to be success with the Six of Wands. This is victory and success, okay? Now let's look at the King of Wands energy. Why is the King of Wands here? You got the Wheel of Fortune right, right in the middle of the reading. The Wheel of Fortune fell right there. This is beautiful. This is Jupiter energy coming in. Ten of Cups again, twice the Ten of Cups.
and the high priestess. <laughs> yes. Whether this is you or someone else, someone's taking action here. The wheel of fortune is Jupiter coming in. The wheel's turning in your favor. This is destiny like something that's coming to you that's faded. Okay, it's beautiful energy from Jupiter. Yes, you get again the Ten of Cups again twice in the reading. This could be a, a beginning of a new relationship. It could be a soul group relationship. It could be anything, a soulmate. If you have no one in your life and you're not dating anyone, this could be business, could be anything, but it's a new start of something here. And you need to trust your intuition because you're right on target, okay? So, and I don't see anything negative what, what's taking place here for you at this moment. Now, let's look at the Queen of Swords. Oops, too many cards. Why is the Queen of Swords in the immediate future? You got the Ace of Swords twice in the reading. So you got the Tower twice. You got the Ten of Cups twice. And you got the Ace of Swords twice in the reading. Ace of Swords. The Strength card reversed. And temperance. Hmm. Patience. You need patience with a situation here. Okay. The divine is coming in to give you clarity. Right? The divine is coming in to give you clarity. Communication. Clarity. You're going to see things very clearly. Very, very clearly. Even with your third eye energy here. But you're discerned. Okay. You're discerned. Because you've been through a lot. So you're discerned about whatever that's coming towards you. Okay. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, you're if you're the Queen of Swords energy, you're operating with your mind, logically. If it comes to business, it's great. But when it comes to love, you have to let the, your heart guide you, right? And uh, it's about uh, having patience. It's about moderating your life. Not just your life, your body, mind, and spirit into one. Okay, a lot of you are not finding the courage or the strength, or you're not, there's like a, there's a healing that has to take place here. But it's also about, it's about where... It's having the confidence. It's about having the confidence, having the courage to move forward. Let's look at this. Oops. Yeah, because you know what? Again, you got the four of wands twice in the reading here. There's some type of proposal that's coming towards you. It's a proposal. This could be a proposal, yes. A special event in your home. It could be about a home. It could be about buying a home, land, whatever it is. It's here. Okay, let's look at the Three of Wands. Reversed in what's supporting you right now. Why is the Three of Wands reversed here for Scorpio? You got the star card reversed. You got the the Hierophant. The Six of Swords reversed. And the Queen of Swords twice. Well, what I could see here is someone stopped waiting for a situation or, or if it's not that, uh, maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius energy. Whatever it is, you lost faith and hope in a situation here about your dreams coming true. So a lot of you have shut something down. Okay, I don't know who that message is for. And <clears throat> you're having a hard time going through a situation. It could be a marriage that you're having a hard time with or a situation in your life, whatever it is. Okay, um, it's about regaining the faith and strength in yourself and meaning having confidence in yourself and understanding that there's a delay because of all these tower cards that are coming down because something has to be shifted because it's stagnant. Okay, what I do see here for some of you, there is marriage on the table. Okay, for others of you, this is about all your learned lessons, everything that you had to go through in experiences that you are going to overcome that you are even some of you are writing a book, some of you are are jotting down a lot you're reading about stuff you're um this is about going through another uh, another dimension another level you're you're evol you're it's about evolution this is what they're showing me okay but you are with the queen of swords energy you're in your mind about a situation yes you're discerned i get that 
Okay, it's okay to be discerned, but not to the point that it's gonna it's gonna make you pass by something that is really meant for you. You understand? If you're standing in your own way about the situation. Now let's look at the Empress and what is being hidden from you. The Empress. What is this all about? We got the Knight of Swords energy, the Ten of Swords reversed. Okay. The four pentacles reversed. And the hermit reversed. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo energy. Um, or you're coming out of a situation where you felt like you were the hermit. If you were taking time out from a situation and healing. Okay, um, you're not holding back any longer. You're not holding back who you are and what it is the situation. You're not holding back. This is what they're showing me. Whatever took place in the past, there was something karmic that you had to release. And I feel that some of you are going to be releasing this. This is being hidden from you. So it means that you are going to be healing this completely. Okay. And uh, yes, you are the Empress. You are manifesting. Things are coming towards you. You know how to manifest and having the mind is touch. There will be a clear message coming in unexpected and again twice they're showing me that okay now let's look at the three of cups in the hopes and fears you got the emperor energy the three of wands the knight of wands reversed the five of wands reversed and the five of cups reversed. There's some type of closure here for some of you. Uh, someone's coming back to uh, close something or some type of reconciliation uh, where there was a lot of fighting. Okay. Uh, there was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of energy of drama around the situation here. And uh, you overcame. You saw the silver lining. Uh, the thing is, is that uh, there's no action at this time that's taking place, whether it's you or them. Okay. And I do feel that someone's still waiting. There's still someone that's waiting here or uh, wanting to see what's going to happen with the emperor energy okay now with the end the energy of the emperor is very different from the empress the emperor wants everything under their rules they want new boundaries new rules happening in their life but not only that it's about having everything under control and the thing is is that you can't have the outcome under control you cannot control the situation. So there is a need to surrender here. And that's why the tower card is coming in. Because sometimes things are supposed to meant to be a certain way. And the universe is going to come in to change that. And this is what Pluto is doing. Because there is like a reawakening here. There's a huge judgment taking place here where you need to surrender. Some, one or someone, something or someone needs to surrender here. Now let's look at the four of wands energy. Why is the four of wands here in the outcome? You got the two of swords reversed. The six of pentacles reversed. The nine of pentacles reversed. Oh boy. The chariot reversed. And okay. They're just showing me something here. Um, yeah. Some type of decision was rendered already. Okay. This is what they're showing me. Something was rendered. You know this. Okay. Something that was stagnant. Something that you have to make a decision, open your heart to, okay? Uh, something was really off balance in your life, completely off balance here. And there's, there, was a, there was some sort of codependency in a situation here where nobody took control with the chariot reversed, okay? But what's coming forth for this four of wands energy is justice. Something is coming into balance. The truth, standing in your integrity, within yourself and so that within yourself and whatever the situation is okay this is about uh rulings made in your favor it's about everybody that's involved will be treated fairly by the universe and there is going to be some type of proposal here in a home or happiness or an event in a home now let's look at the ace of swords energy in the outcome You got the Queen of Wands, so we've got the King and Queen of Wands and the King and Queen of Swords, and I also got the King and I got the Emperor and the Empress here energy. So we got the King, the Queen of Wands, 
the Eight of Wands reversed, followed by the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the Knight of Cups reversed, and the King of Pentacles. So I got the King and Queen. So the only thing I don't have here is the King and Queen of Cups energy, okay? Uh, so what I see here is uh, someone here with a strong personality, very generous, very truthful, very outgoing, uh, uh, you know, very creative, a lot of creativity here, very magical energy in their power. Uh, I see here that uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, whatever you've been working on, Scorpio, whether it's yourself, a project, they're asking you to keep working on it because you're going to find solutions to this, okay? It's very clear cut. Uh, because I see here with the King of Pentacles, okay, there's going to be stable stability in a situation. This is about, uh, you know, success, victory. It's about uh, being in security, very practical, very home situated. And if you're dealing with a situation or someone here that is not communicating, it's because they're still working on themselves. They're trying to find themselves, okay? And underneath the deck, I got the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So yeah, uh, there is something unstable here in a situation, okay? So now uh, let's look at the crystals. Let's look at your crystals. For Scorpio, what crystals do they need from January 18th to the 24th, 2021? One, two cards came out. Okay. So let's look at your crystals. You got Soul Delight, Speak Your Truth, and Pink Opal. Be kind to yourself. You got pink opal and saw the light. And uh, like I said, speak your truth and be kind to yourself. These are the crystals that you will be needing for as long as you need them. Now let's look at the sacred geometry here for you. This is for Scorpio. got number 40 and it's harmony create harmonious surroundings this is your card please uh, take a picture of it uh, take a screenshot if you can if you can and try to meditate with this card and uh, i'm sure that they're going to give you solutions to a situation here okay and next we'll go to the star seed oracle for scorpio one card for uh, you got two. We'll see what they have here for you. First card is the Golden Children. The Golden Children. Look how beautiful this card is for you, Scorpio. And this talks about inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. Next one, Earth School. Earth School. And this talks about life lessons, soul growth, study, and higher learning that's taking place. Now we'll take a card from... Archangel Michael. Lean on God and the angels for support. And your message is, dear God and angels, I give you this and this briefly describe the situation now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. And so it is. And now we're going to take out a card from the White Light Oracle that I want to give you. This is for Scorpio energy from January 18th to the 24th, 2021. What is the message? That was quick. Let's take out my glasses so I could read for you. And you got number seven. You got uh, the seven blessings of Eve. I'm going to show you the card. You could look at it and I'll read you the passage. A spiritual gift shall enter your heart and manifest as a blessing in your life. You have innate talents and abilities which will support your soul into full glorious manifestation. You have been blessed with a beautiful divine destiny to fulfill. You have natural healing ability. Choose your thoughts and words so they reflect what you truly wish to put out into the world. Because your influence is stronger and further reaching than you realize. Well, Scorpio, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. 
know that I have your back and that I love you. All this shall pass. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.